Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, we're gonna show that these two spans are equal. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna use um, properties of spans. So here are the properties. So first of all, um, you're allowed to multiply any of these vectors by any non-zero number. Uh, if you have zero, the zero vector, you can drop it. And you're allowed to add a multiple of one vector um, to another. So I can multiply the first vector by three and then add it to you know, the second vector if I want to. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Let's prove this. And we're just going to prove it using uh, those things. So we'll start by writing down the left-hand side. So we have span. And I'll write it down again. So we have uh, bracket 6, negative 2, 0, 0. I'll explain everything I just said again uh, multiple times as we go through it. So negative 2, negative 2, 0, 0. And this is 1, 1, 0, negative 1. And then we have um, 0, 0, 0, 2. Okay, so the goal is to make this, what we have here, look like what's over here on the right-hand side. So the way to do this um, is to work from the right first. You want to aim for this triangular shape. So let's focus on this last vector here, 0, 0, 0, 1. Well, here we have 0, 0, 0, 2 here. It's our last vector. So we can multiply this vector by 1 half, and that'll get us what we want. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're allowed to multiply any vector by any non-zero number. So we keep the first one. So 6, negative 2, 0, 0. Okay, we keep the second one. So negative 2, negative 2, 0, 0. And then we keep the third one. 1, 1, 0, negative 1. And we're multiplying this last vector by 1 half, right? Why? Because we want this, we want it to be that. So when we do that, we get exactly that, right? We get 0, 0, 0, 1. So we're in very, very good shape. Okay, so all we've done so far is we've multiplied the last vector uh, by 1 half, and we have this vector here. Okay, so that, that vector is going to stay. We want that one, so success. So what about these other three? Well, you see this negative 1 down here. This, this is a problem, right? It should go away. So I'm thinking we can add the last vector um, to, the, uh, to the third, right? Add the last vector to the third. So let's go ahead and do that uh, and see if that helps. So this is equal to the span of, let's see, we have bracket 6, negative 2, 0, 0. Uh, then we have negative 2, negative 2, 0, 0. I'm going to be really careful here. I don't mess up. So we're adding this last one to this one. So when we do that, the, the, they'll cancel. So we just get 1, 1, 0, 0. Right, you're allowed to add vectors together, and you can multiply them by numbers. And then we have the last vector here, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So now we're in a much better place. It's starting to look better. We're starting to get some 1s here, right? Um, I think what I'm going to do next is reorder these. I'm going to put this vector first. I'm just going to flip it uh, with, um, well, actually, I think at this point, uh, we can actually eliminate a vector, right? I, I can multiply this vector here by 2 and add it to the second vector. So we're going to multiply third vector, let me write that down, by 2, add to second vector. Let's go ahead and do that because that, that's clear. You can, eliminate, you can eliminate a vector completely. So this is the span. Let's keep that first vector. So 6, negative 2, 0, 0. And again, we're multiplying the third vector by 2 and adding it to the second vector. So it's going to become 0, 0, 0, 0, right? Because this is 2 plus negative 2 and that's 0. Beautiful stuff. And then we keep the other 2. This method is extremely powerful. Like um, the other way to do this problem, I have a video on it, is using what's called double inclusion. Like you take an element in one span, you show what's in the other span, and then vice versa, you take an element in the other span, and you show what's in the other span. So you show the spans are subsets of each other. But that is a lot of work, my friends. Um, this is the way uh, pros do it. Um, so now you have the zero vector. You can always drop the zero vector, right? Always. It's always what's called a redundant vector. It's always a linear combination of the others. So you can just drop the zero vector. So we have 6, negative 2, 0, 0. Uh, then here we have 1, 1, 0, 0. And then here we have uh, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, 0, 0, 0, 1. 
All right, good stuff. Uh, we're almost uh, we're almost there. Uh, maybe what we can do now uh, is get rid of this uh, ugly six and negative two. Maybe we can multiply the second one by negative six and add it to the first. So let's do that. So mult second by negative six add to first. So let's do that. Let me change colors here. The yellow is getting out of control. This is equal to the span. All right, so multiplying this by negative 6, so negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Negative 6 plus negative 2 is negative 8, and the rest of them are zeros. Okay, and then here we have uh, 1, 1, 0, 0. And then here we have uh, 0, 0, 0, 1. So we've rewritten uh, our, our span. Okay, we've rewritten our span. Um, now maybe we can make this one um, a 1. Right, we can do that by multiplying it by negative one eighth. So this is equal to the span. Uh, this is going to be zero one zero zero. Okay, one one zero zero. Again, we can multiply any vector by any non-zero number, and we can add vectors to each other, and we can remove zero. And let's go ahead and maybe now multiply this one by negative one and add it to this one. So that'll become the span. So adding negative 1 times the first to the second. So the first is the same. And then negative 1 times this vector plus this vector, it's just going to cancel the second component, right? So it'll be 1, 0, 0, 0. And then we have um, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. And then let's go ahead and rearrange it so we have what we want. So this is equal to the span. Kind of rushing through this. Let me give myself some, some more room. I think this is the last step, so let me make it look cooler. Span. It's a big span. We have the set. Let's rewrite the ordering here. Re reorder this. So we're here, and then we are here, 0, 1, 0, 0. And then the last one would be uh, 0, 0, 0, 1. And that's it, my friends. So that's how you simplify spans um, using theorems, right? So basically, you're allowed to multiply uh, any vector uh, by any non-zero number, and you're allowed to add vectors to each other, and you can drop zero. So I hope this video uh, has made sense. That's it.